Hi, just a quick little behind the scenes video here. I was just uh, packing up all of the microcurrent parts ready to ship out to the assembler and I thought I'd just show you um, all of the parts here that are needed just to manufacture uh, 2000 boards and I don't even have all of them uh, ready yet. But anyway, I thought I'd um, show you all the stuff on the reels and everything else that goes into that. So let's have a quick look. And of course, one of the first things you have to do when you're preparing uh, parts for manufacture at an assembly house like this is to make sure you buy everything in reels like this, even if you have to buy more than your allocated uh, you know, quantity. For example, I'm making 2,000 boards, but I might have to buy you know, 3,000 of some part because it only comes on reels of 1,000. Although you can, from you know, the likes of DigiKey and Mouser, uh, get them re-reeled. So you can use their re-reeling service. You pay like seven bucks or something and they'll give you the exact number of parts but you know often it's just easier um, and also uh, for the future you know if your product takes off is more popular than you anticipate then it can actually be um, uh, cheaper and more beneficial to just you know buy things on reels for example uh, and you may not get that service from uh, some of the other uh, suppliers but the likes of uh, Mouser and DigiKey do that do that but anyway um, you know take a look at these like these uh, precision resistors here um, in, in this case there are 1k it's a 1k uh, the 102 there means 1k these are uh, the uh, precision 0.05 percent resistors and I've actually uh, numbered them here five because what I've got is my um, uh, bill of materials here which I give to my assembler and it actually has an item number down here which then I match up with the reel so that there can be no mistakes. So number five there is item number five here. It's got all the description and everything and the component designator that it goes to etc. So you know that just minimizes the uh, you know any mistakes or something like that. So in the, in the case of those I've got uh, 2,000 of them I think yeah these ones even though this is not a full reel as you can see it does come on a bigger version but the stocked part from uh, DigiKey in this case only came uh, on a 1000 uh, reel so I you know I bought uh, four separate 1000 reels instead of say one reel of 4000 or 5000 which I could have got directly from the manufacturer but hey the lead time would have been an issue and I yeah I probably could have saved some money there if I was willing to wait the extra time but in this case they're in stock so I just got four separate reels of 1000 there but that's not a problem for the assembler and then you've got you know ones like this real cheap ass so i've got 10,270 ohm resistors these are you know just uh, regular joe blogs you know five percent 0603 things you can get them from any manufacturer in this case i happen to come from uh rome which is a decent manufacturer it's not like they're unbranded or anything like that and yeah i just ordered a reel of 10,000. in this case i need like 8,000, but like what's the point this whole reel i mean this is actually a big reel if you compare this in size with what this is you know what you'd get as a standard reel but check out the size of this it's a big beast and um most assemblers can handle you know a large uh reel like this it's not like it's any uh thicker at all it's just physically uh larger and holds more parts but this reel was like five or six dollars or something for ten thousand parts so this sort of stuff like you don't eat they're practically free you don't even bother uh getting the exact number of parts crazy and then um yeah i've got more precision resistors here here they all are bingo most of these were in um stock in some cases i had to get them from um several different uh suppliers because they didn't have stock more precision resistors uh what do we got there yeah oh that's the uh 10 ohm 0805 resistors so once again they're numbered number nine they go in there um you know cheap ass what is it uh, uh 10 puff caps things like that um 100k resistors oh, you know what does that real cost a couple of dollars crazy now um, this is interesting. These are the uh, LEDs. These are the special uh, King Bright LEDs. I specified a specific LED because it has a specific brightness at a certain uh, current 
in this thing and it comes in here caution moisture sensitive devices and there's a it's a moisture seal bag you can see that they're physically um, heat sealed that along the co top there's a desiccant yeah there's a desiccant satchet in there to get rid of all the moisture and really um, don't open these things before you send them to the assembler because if they're sitting out in the open too long moisture can get in to the uh, leak into the package and then when that goes through the reflow machine um, they can the case can crack you know that um, uh, moisture in there can evaporate expand and actually crack the case and ruin your leads leads um, and quite a few uh, chips um, that aren't hermetically sealed packages can, can be susceptible to this sort of thing and you'll find that they come packaged from the manufacturer King Bright in this case it's it's not like DigiKey did this uh, vacuum packaging it's um uh, straight from King Bright, comes straight off the assembly line, bam, straight into the moisture sealed packets like this. So just be very careful, don't open these yourself, leave it to the assembler, because if you did open them, then they, um, in theory, should have to actually uh, bake them for, uh, you know, 24 hours beforehand or something. It gives you uh, baking instructions, 100 hours at 60. There you go. If above conditions are not met, required before met, so 100 hours. So that would, you know, if you were serious about your manufacture, that could that could kill you. You've got a 100 hour wait to bake these things. I mean, you know, some assemblers just wouldn't care. They just, you know, load your parts and be done with it. But if you've got a proper assembler who follows the rules and does everything properly, then they would come to you and say, hey, you supplied this without a moisture seal packet or in some cases they wouldn't know for example if i just gave them this reel out of this packet they would have just gone and mounted it because um, they they wouldn't know that it's a moisture seal packet but when they get these they know to not open these on the day they get them if they're going to manufacture them next week for example so they've only got a limited life there you go mounted within 168 hours of the factory conditions blah 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 so there you go. You generally don't want to open those. Uh, leave it to the assembler. Um, stuff like the Maxim, uh, the main Maxim chip, for example. Uh, these come in reels of uh, 2,500. I had to order these directly from uh, Maxim. And yeah, there it is. And once again, um, these are ones I still don't have enough of. Um, they're on uh, back order. So I'm still waiting for delivery of those. Even though Maxim have them in stock, it takes time to um, ship them in places like that. These ones stuck was stuck in customs sitting here in Sydney in customs for two weeks because the bloody courier oh, who was it I don't know who it was bloody DHL or somebody um, yeah screwed up the customs on it. it was a real pain in the ass I was sitting there and I couldn't get my hands on them anyway more precision resistors uh, what do we got um, 3000 uh, voltage um, uh, voltage monitors. Um, they're the Texas Instruments ones. Yeah, I love how they put a little smiley face on there. That actually came from the, uh, I assume the, um, from someone at uh, Texas Instruments or someone at DigiKey uh, did that. I love it. Someone's got a sense of humor. Brilliant. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just, I don't need 3,000 of those. I only need 2,000, but hey, they were cheap enough. Came on a reel of 3,000 stocked. I just got those what the hell and because I might be able to reuse them in other uh, projects and stuff like that for example same with the op amp um, I don't need uh, 3,000 of them but hey I couldn't be bothered I just bought them in a reel of 3,000 and then the precision current shunt resistor uh, for example this one I um, uh, had to buy up basically the world's stock from different suppliers. I cleaned out, I think, the entire planet of these parts and I'm still waiting for more parts. And I've only got, uh, I think, 300 in here or thereabouts. But And they're not on reels. They're just on loose uh, tape like that. But luckily, my assembler um, said that that's not a problem. Their machine, their pick-and-place machine, can actually handle loose tape. But don't assume that your manufacturer can actually do that because often they'll have to re-reel them. And you can give them, uh, you know, parts just on loose tape like this, but generally they will have to uh, re-reel them on reels for you and they'll probably charge you for that as well. It's not a big deal, but anyway, it's just something to watch out for. You should generally supply in reels like that. Uh, what else have I got? serial number labels nice little holographic serial number labels got those custom printed really nice so i'm going to have the assembler put those on for me uh pcbs i haven't got all my pcbs yet some are still being shipped these are uh 20 uh panels so i can manufacture uh 200 
uh, boards. It's got the uh, edge. Here we go. I'll give you a quick look. It's got the nice uh, edge test connector on there, although I'm probably not going to use that for actual testing. I'm going to use it to power, so I'll have like a battery that I can hook up there. It can power all boards at uh, once, but I don't think I'm going to have like a separate jig that sort of plugs directly into the top. So I sort of changed my mind there. But anyway, so I've got more of those on order. There's like, I think there's like 50 kilos of boards or something like that. Crazy. And they sent me a sample of a matte green one here. Anyway, this one's not quite red. It's more like orange than red, I think, from this manufacturer. So that's that. Um, that's the matte green one. I don't mind it. Um, probably not as nice as, as the olive uh, green one, which, hang on, if I get that. Here we go. There's the olive green board. There it is. And I'm not sure if I've got my white balance set, cor set correct here. I'm not actually on my lab at the moment. But yeah, I think the olive green probably looks a bit sexier. But I don't know if you're a fan of the matte uh, green. I am going to uh, just get one panel of those assembled. So we'll give that a go. And uh, maybe some people will want those. Uh, what else have we got? We've got uh, switches. Once again, I cleaned out the world's supply of these special CNK switches which I've used and I got them uh, from all different uh, like I think four different suppliers or something and I've pretty much cleaned out the planet on those and I think I've got more on order as well so yep um, even you know my little lousy project run of uh, 2000 boards here cleaned out the world's supply of uh, you know certain types of uh, parts just absolutely crazy I've got um, all the connectors. Here we go. We got ta da! Red and uh, black. Um, the nice gold connectors, they're really quite nice. And they come in uh, boxes of a thousand. I've got more on order. But because these are mounted later in the manufacturing uh, process, I don't, the, you know, not having these won't stop the assembler assembling my board. So I can get the boards assembled with the pick and place machine, not a problem, and they can sit around waiting for these connectors to turn up because it's a separate process. So not a problem. Uh, what else have we got? We've got a huge reel over here. Now, the, these are the uh, battery, um, the uh, CR2032 battery, come in quantities of uh, 400 there on a reel like this. So I've got like, uh, you know, half a dozen uh, reels of this thing. And um, you'll notice how wide these things are. And you just got to be careful because not all assemblers can actually um, have the, uh, have the uh, reels uh, that can handle um, these things this wide. So you just got to be uh, careful with that. So anyway, I've got a whole bunch of those. They come in a huge box there. And what else have I got um, there? The uh, plastic boxes. Um, I've, I've, some are still sitting down in my car, a whole bunch of them. There are a hundred of those per box. So I've got, uh, yeah, there's 200, sorry, 20 of those boxes total. Absolutely crazy. And these connectors, by the way, weigh a ton, just like a thousand here weighs like 15 kilos or something like that. I've ordered 8,000 of these things, um, 8,000 connectors total crazy but there you go because i've got four connectors per board two thousand boards Whew, that is a buttload of uh physical connectors they weigh an absolute ton so shipping these to the assembler actually costs um you know quite a bit of money and really in long term i would have you know if i was doing this properly i would have uh had my um suppliers send directly to the assembler and you know once you've got everything set up and and running you know i i, I wouldn't handle these parts because it's just double handling really so so you wouldn't bother doing that and then reshipping them but in this case it's the first time i've done this microcurrent gold just wanted to make sure everything was fine and because i hadn't chosen an assembler um, up until uh, fairly recently i didn't know who they were going to so i got them all sent here and whew, bob's your uncle there you go there's all the parts, well, a lot of the parts for uh, 2,000 uh, boards. In fact, I'm going to do a trial run of uh, 200 boards and uh, see how it goes. And that will, of course, fulfill the um, Kickstarter uh, early, uh, well, the, um, yeah, the early backers of uh, the 200 units. 
So there you go. Time to pack and ship to the assembler. Oh, goodness. Oops, I forgot to show you this. This is the stainless steel uh, solder paste stencil. And uh, this is what they're going to uh, put into their automated uh, paste machine to apply the solder paste to the boards. There we go. I had this uh, manufactured uh, from a local company. It only costs like uh, 90 um, eight dollars or something like that. You can see it's um, uh, aluminium, welded aluminium uh, frame there, and that is quite good. So I'll send that along with the boards, and otherwise, you generally you leave this up to the assembler, but I happen to have this. I was going to actually uh, use this to hand assemble the uh, 30 or 40 um, early uh, boards, but I actually just did those one by one. I didn't use the uh, the full panel like this, but this is designed for the 10 separate boards. But anyway, they can reuse that, so I'm going to ship that to them, and then I don't have to pay the extra cost for uh, solder paste uh, stencil from them, which is usually a couple of hundred bucks. And I goofed it, I actually uh, forgot in my haste to um, mask out the card edge connector here, so they can just uh, mask that out there because I don't want to be applying solder paste to the card edge connector because you want the original gold contacts on the side there for to hook up to your cartridge connector. So if you've got solder um, on, you know, nice thick solder coating on there, eh, it ruins your day. It'd still work, it wouldn't be a showstopper, but anyway, that's just something to watch out for. One more thing I forgot to mention, but I have mentioned in uh, previous videos and stuff like this, all these uh, real parts, if you're manufacturing 2,000 units, you prop and you really, really want uh, to get 2,000 units back, you probably shouldn't send them just 2,000 parts on a reel, for example. You n generally need to um, send like, you know, a 5% extra might be, you know, a rule of thumb for uh, some passive parts like this, or, you know, a couple of percent e extra. Anyway, ask your manufacturer, because they're going to lose some when they, you know, the pick and place machine will lose some and stuff like that. But um, some of the other parts like these uh, loose precision resistors, for example, I mean, these things are expensive, you know, four or five dollars a pop in, uh, you know, a couple of thousand quantities. So, you know, losing 5% of these could actually be a big deal. So you can actually ask them just to be um, extra careful with the expensive parts. But, you know, things like the 10,000 of these for, you know, 5 or $6, eh, you don't give a toss. And last but not least, of course, your sample board. And of course, I could actually mention the pick and place files as well. But, oh, I, geez, that's enough for this video. I'm going to pack and ship these things. See ya.